<laughs> of the morning cup. <laughs> I just can't this morning. <laughs> what, what's the matter, Lois? Really? Really? What? Uh-huh. Well, I don't know what you did. What? Uh, Bologna. What? <laughs> Somebody decided to wear my shirt today. I don't know what you're talking about. This is my normal shirt, Lois. Huh? What, what better way to advertise than, than to uh, show things off? Show things off. <laughs> we also have LPN in the shirt in women's sizes. Oh, it's going to be colors. so stretched out now. And colors. <laughs> Yes. Oh my see, goodness. Like, oh, you can't really. I guess no, you can't really see there you go. it. <laughs> It'll be it in the shirt. It comes in pink. <laughs> <laughs> all right. For you Vanna. ladies out there. What? <coughs> what did you want? I said, all right, Vanna. Vanna. Oh, Vanna it it. Uh huh. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. in the shirt. Also comes in a lady's colors and sizes. Oh. <laughs> I was actually thinking of doing kid sizes too, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you would what? definitely would not fit in those. Yeah, probably not. I can like stick it on my hand. <laughs> there you go. Make it like a puppet. <laughs> little puppet, little oh, puppet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and uh, I see we have a new background today. We do. We do. I actually threw the background up there for everybody's opinion out there. This is the logo we're thinking of putting on El Pirin Zehudi. Zehudi? Zehudi. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Just the way you say it. What do you guys think of the hoodie thing right there? What, you like I, this? I like it. Do you like I, that? I like that. <laughs> yeah, I think I like it too. Here, we'll do it this way. What? So I'm not looking down over there. Oh, okay. I, I do. I like you that. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, the only thing I was thinking about is, is, is there's actually a whole row of rivets around the outside of it there. Okay. You can't really see them on the screen, but I think it might be can't. because of the black background. I don't know. I, I, um, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's so far away. You can't. I mean, it's not it's like so here. It's so far away. Oh, boy. Can't see anything. <laughs> no. Oh, my. What? See, but on this, you can see it. Yeah, but that's because it's black and they're white on this. Well, it, it's not only that. It's because this is here and then that's there. Yeah, well, that's true. I don't know. <laughs> I, I really like it. I, think I it's do, cool. too. I, but, uh, but maybe put a little bit darker rivets in here. I'm not <laughs> sure. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what to do, what to do. So anyway, this is the logo we're thinking of putting on LPN and the hoodie. We're, we're still working on it. Um, it has some potential. I, I like it. Yeah, yeah. so I do like I. It. And we have something else new that's coming out today. What? Actually, what? it came out yesterday, but officially it's out today. What? What? Oh, you, would you <laughs> like to see it, Lois? Yes. <laughs> would you like to see it? <laughs> Are you feeling uh -oh. all right over there, Lois? Yes, I am feeling just fine. There we go. So, uh -oh. oh, really? Oh, no. You really? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Can't see you again. We have a new shirt that's live. <laughs> Check it out. This is live on Amazon. This is LPNN. I am the network. What do you guys think? You like it? I like it. You like it? <laughs> I right, do. Here, I'll, I will try and fix our, our thingamabobber here. Our thingamabobber? Yeah, because we're all screwy. So, Dave says, I can see them on the screen. Oh, Want can them you? to be darker or bigger? Uh, well, I, I just, I, we can't see them on the screen, but we also, yeah, I'm, I'm mostly blind. So. <laughs> no, huh? There we go. That's better. <laughs> and uh, David says, black, no cream or sugar in my cup, please. <laughs> <laughs> For morning and, cup. And Gina says that she likes it. Yeah. Well, th this is our newest ver uh, iteration of this. We actually have another one that's wor that I'm working on, on getting out, but... LPNN, I am. You are dangerous <laughs> with those digits this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it right there. You're fine. I'm looking yeah, at the Yeah, but you're like right here. <laughs> hey, stop. <laughs> hey, man, I am wearing a girl's shirt. You'd be nice to me. <laughs> anyway, yes, we do have the ladies' colors. If you guys are interested in that, I thought I would I would share that with you. So everybody. Gina's liking both. Oh, you like both? Yes. Yes. She she likes the new logo for the the um the for, hoodie for Z Rupert yeah for Z Rupert, Z -Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she she likes this shirt awesome well, I'm glad you guys <laughs> like it we are gonna be working on getting those out uh, relatively soon I think but if they are showing yeah. up on the thingy that's good I like yeah, that. that's a happy that's awesome and uh, Renee's giving the googly eyes oh I see you I hope you're feeling better yeah Renee is sick yes yeah, she's no good no good Renee get better. 
Um, one of the things that uh, I wanted to bring up as well. So, uh, and, oh, anyway. And this. David is saying the shirts look great. Nice. Awesome. Thank hey. you. I appreciate it. We're trying to come up with a variety for you guys. You can replace I, your entire wardrobe with LP and N stuff. <laughs> Just think. I love how you say we, and you're the one working on it. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm wearing a pink ladies shirt. Okay? And, and I am showing support for the cause. And you are supporting the cause. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, as you can see down here by the ticker, we have finally done something. Uh, we have done... Uh, <coughs> don't we do something pretty much every day? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, what does the ticker say? Because I can't see it on my... I, I know, because I just transferred over. Oh. And you have what's called lag. Mm. You can see it now. It's on there. <laughs> you are no fun today, Lux. I thought... Okay, I'm still waking up, and for some reason, I thought that was going on this entire time. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Only when we're in the main studio lens right here. Okay? So, what does it say? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting for it to scroll on. <laughs> Are you saying it's scrolling too slowly? Well, for me to figure out what it's saying oh. really quickly for the show. <laughs> All right, so there's a new app out. Well, relatively new app. It's been out for a while, actually. And we tried joining it a while back because, you know, we're part of I mean, that's what we do. We're on social media. Mm -hmm. And so there is this program called Next Door. And I use the, the quotation marks loosely. And we tried to join it back when it first came out. Um... Unfortunately, you know, it's funny, we do happen to live in the 21st century, and there are a lot of modern amenities out there, and a lot of modern technology, but because we live in Page, so sometimes that stuff falls just a, just a little short. <laughs> just a tiny bit. Yeah, Flagstaff. <laughs> huh? That's where it falls. Oh. <laughs> Flagstaff. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so we tried to join the app originally back when it first came out. But you had to have physical address verification. And for those of you that live in Page, like we do, Ain't that's impossible. Nice. You can't do it. Because the, the post office is like, oh, no, there are no physical addresses in the city of Page. And, it's like, and they're like, and we will not mail verification to P.O. boxes. Well, then how in the freaking bleepity bop are we supposed Thank to you. verify? <laughs> Thank you for bleeping yourself. <sighs> It's very funny, and I've had this actually happen on on a few websites where they're like, "We don't accept PO boxes." I'm like, "Well, then I guess I'm not buying your crap because I don't have a physical address that you can verify because the post office refuses to verify stuff." Although apparently, recently they've decided to charge for said services, which is odd because it's the post office and they're supposed to. You know what? That's a different episode. <laughs> That's a different show. <laughs> so anyway, we found a loophole around all of this idiocy uh, as of yesterday. Mm -hmm. And now LPNN is on Next Door. Yes. You can download the Next Door app and you can find our business page on Next Door. And if you do, make sure you give it a recommendation. <laughs> and give it a thumbs up. <laughs> give it a recommendation. Uh, not only that, but... Because the uh, business page is on Nextdoor, absolutely worthless, I am also on Nextdoor. So, uh, so you, what? The tone you hit hurt my ear. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I am also on Nextdoor, so you can pester me as well. And I have, I have posted a couple of things. We spammed LPNN last night. Yes. And then this morning, there was quite a lovely sunrise when I took the, the dogs out to, to go uh, potty. And no. so I posted about that. I was like, hey, there's a nice pink sunrise. Everybody go check it out. <laughs> so you may It'll get, only last 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, you may get some random weird stuff. But either way, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to message me over on that thing, and I can put up little posts and things like that. So it could be interesting. We could have a good time. We'll have to see where it goes. Uh, oh, uh, what? So Renee is saying, nice shirt. Well, thank um, you. Uh, she was meaning the... the uh, oh. <laughs> Gina says it takes a real man to wear pink. Oh, yeah, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> I am secure. And Renee says she likes the Rupert logo, too. Nice. Awesome. And uh, she's saying, yes, controversy. <laughs> <laughs> and Diana is saying good morning, all. Good, good morning, morning, Diana. Diana. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Oh, and thank you all of you guys for liking, sharing, and commenting on all of these videos. <laughs> Same with you guys on YouTube. Hit that subscribe and hit that bell. Ding. Yeah, a little bell. Ding. 
Yeah. And then you get notified when we go live. <laughs> and if you don't have a YouTube account, you won't be able to do that. But at least you can watch us over there and you can leave comments. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> you and your sound effects. <laughs> we actually have, uh, there's, there's a, you know, it's a, there's a surprising number of people that don't have Facebook accounts out there. Yes. <coughs> there are a lot of people that don't. Which is perfectly fine. That's why we broadcast on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, and Twitch. And now we're on Nextdoor as well. Plus, we have a website. So, you're not just nailed down to the Facebook side of things. So, are, are, are we broadcasting to Nextdoor? No, well? they oh, don't okay. have video streaming uh, okay. services. I, it's basically... The way you made it sound just now. They took the... <laughs> The way Next Door works is they took the 21st century of social media that is global and went backwards with it and shrunk it down to neighborhoods. Oh, okay. So it's kind of weird. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but it could be interesting. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. It could be very interesting. But either way, uh, when you guys, you know, if, if people don't have a Facebook account, they can certainly check out the YouTube site. We actually had somebody last night that was asking how they could access the YouTube side of things. And so we went ahead and sent them a link and they're like, oh. So, not that big of a deal. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. And uh, Linda is saying, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, people of page. <laughs> oh, people of page. Yes, people of page and people of... All I, of I page, think you know. PLP. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you for liking, morning, commenting, and sharing. And don't oh. forget to, uh, <clears throat> I guess we should do that since we're already on this strain of things. Uh, no, what? Oh. The shameless plug segment, oh. Lois. Oh, I'm not in your brain this morning, apparently. You're either a member of the network or an enemy of the network. Show your loyalty and purchase LPNN the shirt at Amazon.com or the new LPNN I Am the Network shirt on Amazon.com. And between 5 and $7, go to the cause to keep us ticking. <laughs> Prove your loyalty to your enemies and your friends. Show them that you support the network and that you are a part of the network with I Am the Network t-shirt. <laughs> I love it. And we also have Bind the Hat Unplugged, where you can see all kinds of wackiness behind the scenes and stuff that we can't post in the normal news feed. That's $10 a month. If you're interested, send us a message on Facebook here. Yeah. Or you could send us an email, or you could text us, or whatever. There's like, there's like 10 different ways to get a hold of us. <laughs> and uh, Gwenny is saying, good morning from Utah. Good morning, good morning Utah. Gwenny. Hi. You know, that's an interesting thing in the next door app. So... You know, it's supposed to be neighborhoods, and then it can it can hook you up with adjacent neighborhoods. And then there was a thing where it said, uh, check out local schools, and it had the Big Water School. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Big Water's technically in the neighborhood, because, you know, it's like right over that way, but it is across the border, so. Yeah. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Maybe they go by um, a mileage radius. A mi I don't know. I don't, well, I guess technically a real city would be... <laughs> you know, yeah. it take up that much space. <laughs> Page is like this big. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, let's see. What, what, what all did we have going on? Was there... Oh, Diana is what, saying, oh. how about an LPNN, I am a friend of the network shirt? Hmm. I like that. I would have to consider it. <laughs> but you're either a member of the network or an enemy of the network. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I'd have to, I might have to change the slogan. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> what? You're such a goof. It's, ah! <laughs> it's so mean. Your dogs I, are losing I, their I, mind. I hear it. It's all good. You can hear the dogs barking like crazy that way. <laughs> well, <sighs> um, you, you were mentioning um, uh, Unplugged. And uh, one of the benefits to being on Unplugged is, uh, yes, you get to see behind the scenes, but you also get to um, see, you get previews mm -hmm. of, of things that are, that are coming up. And, and I did one last night for... Oh, for, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah um, for something that was going to be in the morning show today. You did. You did. Um, I'm trying to, which one was it now? Uh, you don't remember, which is even better, because y'all get to see his first reaction. Um, I don't <laughs> so, remember. Oh my, uh, but oh my. I, okay, fine. I guess I will just shut up now. No, no. I'm yet. just going to jump into this one. No, but, <laughs> no, I was doing stuff. You were doing stuff? All right. No, it's too late now. I've lost my tra train of thought. What do you got? Yeah, you'll you'll come back on to your train of thought. Um, just above the picture. This one now, right here? Yeah. 
This is something I would probably do, end up doing. Uh, <laughs> th this actually comes out of Fresno, California. Oh, all right. I guess I will give you that. Right. Yeah, you completely derailed my friend. This has nothing to do with what yeah, I was well, talking sorry. about. Sorry. <laughs> Lois is on her own program. I, I, I'm always on my own program. Yeah, but this is like... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to talk about yesterday and all kinds of fun stuff. Well, then talk not? about yesterday. It's too late, man. You've already messed with the flow. Well, this happened yesterday. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Matter. But yeah, you did go on behind the head on. Yeah, I, I did. I did. All right. All right. I guess that's loosely attached to what happened yesterday. Oh goodness! And this did, like I said, this did happen yesterday. Uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, she got tired of me rambling on. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, Dave says I'm fairly close, and it says I am not in any neighborhoods in next door. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Dave, you don't live in the area. But it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Oh, Won't oh. you be my neighbor? <laughs> um, let's right, see. Yeah. Um, Diana says, um, LPNN members only jacket? That's a possibility. That is definitely a possibility. Um, I'm not sure how I'd have that work, though. <laughs> because it's on Amazon. I don't no, I might have. There might be a way to create a secret, super secret private link. Maybe I have to maybe. look into that. <laughs> maybe kind of, sort of. Well, I know how to do it so that nobody can see it but me, and then I'd be able to give that link to possibly our members. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe we might have to give it a whirl, and then we could have like logos all over. You have LPNN the normal logo on this side, LPNN the Rupert logo on this side, and then something on the back. But then it would cost like. Astronomical. I was gonna say that's gonna that means it'll cost like three hundred dollars. I know, all right. <laughs> well, the hoodie's already ridiculously expensive. We're going on that later. But uh, they don't have a jacket available right now. But they do have hoodies. They do have uh, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. But they don't have a jacket available. So I might have to look into that. But it's uh, probably yeah. gonna be pricey. No, probably. Because yes. cu making custom stuff usually, you know, if I ordered like ten thousand of them. Then it would only be like five dollars a piece, but then that's fifty thousand dollars I gotta shell out. I ain't got no freaking money, man. <laughs> Plus, I don't got a place to stick five thousand shirts. That's why we're going through Amazon.com. Because if you click buy it, they print it and mail it to you. And then if there's any problems, you mail it back, and they take care of that, and then they mail you out. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. Then, then you don't have to worry about coming up with capital. You can still get customized printable thingamajiggers. <laughs> Which, that's also another thing I'm thinking of doing, is uh, creating little LPNN stickers. Nice. And then and then it would either have a Rupert or an LPNN, and you could, like, tag stuff with it. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. But what? You're, you're, you're supporting graffiti. <laughs> graffiti. <laughs> it's called branding, man. <laughs> Brand awareness. Everybody will be like, oh, I wonder what that is. And the cops oh, will be man. like, did you do this? We're like, no, man. <laughs> Somebody followers. bought the stickers, and they died. <laughs> oh, that's evil. <laughs> I don't know so, that. so what about yesterday? <laughs> no, I don't. We're going to go back uh, to this. No, no, no. This no, was no. yesterday. It, it was I don't yesterday. remember, man. Oh. You already derailed that train of thought. It's oh, gone. Oh, my goodness. No, you interrupt not. the flow and... <laughs> we did several things yesterday. It's called brain fartitis. Brain fartitis. <laughs> It happens, you know, just uh, the <laughs> thoughts are percolating barely and trickling through the mind early in the morning. And then you come in and you go, <laughs> and it goes, <laughs> and then that's it. I got nothing left. <laughs> so now you have to carry the rest of the morning show on your own. Which means I can go check on the dogs oh, and see where they're running. And then I'm uh, no, I can guarantee it's because they heard a mouse fart. Okay, it could be. But but then everybody doesn't have to look at me in the pink LP. Uh, the you shirt. are fine just right there. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Oh, my goodness. Right, anyway, so this didn't uh, happen yesterday. Oh, Gina's but, saying window decals would be awesome. Yeah, they don't have those. But there are, I do have some possibilities for that. It says LPN and googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the kind of idea behind the behind the stickers. You know? <laughs> and then you can just tag stuff with it. But I like the googly eye thing. <laughs> but now we're getting into really customized products. So with your guys' support, if we sell a whole bunch of stuff, we might be able to pay our bills on time. And then if we have even more stuff sold, then we can get really creative. Or if we can... Uh, get our get businesses more businesses to, yes. uh, yeah. to if, support if, if you are a business and you're interested in sponsoring LPNN let us know 
We have yeah. several options available. Oh, we do. We do. And we have several shows available. Yes. <laughs> and remember, you're either a member of the network or an enemy of the network. Which <laughs> side do you want to be on? <laughs> Oh, oh, did I just threaten all the businesses and paint? No. Oh. <laughs> or did I? <laughs> anyway. Oh my goodness gracious. What? You're just horrible. Like, oh, Look at him. I'm just oh. so. Anyway, back so, to what you did yesterday. It, it, what I did yesterday? <laughs> you did it. Uh, I you, didn't do this. I you, swear. Well, you would do this. I, I probably Because we would. have what they're talking about here. <laughs> I'm just saying. I probably would end up doing this um, completely on accident. However, uh, yes. <laughs> so, yes, she did a Behind the Hat episode on this, Behind the Hat Unplugged. And um, I'm going to go ahead and read the headline for you here because it did. I could see people doing this. And, as a matter of fact, I have done this. Because, you know, before I was I was Mr. News Anchor and, and girly man shirt wearing person here, uh, this is one of the things I did. I, I dug a bunch of, you know, I, I dug trenches and, you know, my technical job was, was uh, low voltage and telecommunications, which is, uh, you know, really extravagant for I dig ditches and stuff <laughs> and pull cable. So... <laughs> <laughs> when I would get into those little pedestals outside where I'd have to go work, this was a serious problem. And we had blow torches because we used it for uh, for heat shrink wrap and stuff like that. And this is how we take care of those little buggers. <laughs> so this is the headline. Man accidentally sets house on fire after using a blowtorch to kill black widow spiders. Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't... Mm -mm. Nope. That, you, you want it just, a, you know, there's a certain amount of heat. You don't want to exceed that threshold, you know. Not I know to cook I the spider, <laughs> not burn down the house. I know I would, I would exceed said threshold <laughs> because no. Nope. <laughs> it's an arachnid. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. I'm just saying. But yeah, man actually sets his house on fire after using a blowtorch to kill a black widow spider. That is a, uh, yeah, definitely. If this, this is something that I would do. I I, I definitely would. Mm -hmm. Um and and I think we actually covered another one where a gal came in and, and um to a house that they had just purchased and it was it was overrun pretty much with uh brown recluse. Yes, I remember that. And <laughs> it you know, the comments to it were were just burn it down. Yep, and, and this guy and that did. was actually her her response to it. Just burn it down, we'll start brand new. Pretty much. Pretty <laughs> and, much. Yeah, this is definitely definitely something I would do. Yeah, because well, I, just, I, I, I would hope that you wouldn't though. Just just call me and let me know because I don't. <laughs> Homestead Studios is our last bastion of hope, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you burn it down, we're gonna be doing this in the car. It would not be good. We've done this in the car before. Yeah, well, I know, but I would not like to and do it on a regular basis. And people freak out basis. thinking that you're holding the camera while I'm driving. <laughs> no, while I'm driving. Well, no, I'm, yeah, while you're driving. <laughs> yeah, you See, didn't make I'm any not sense. awake yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, people are always like, lie. you shouldn't drive in video. Dude, I'm sitting in the passenger seat talking to you with a phone in my hand. <laughs> Lois is driving. If you see me doing that, I'm either driving or the phone is on a mount in the windshield. Just saying. Which means it's really bouncy. Yeah. And, it goes, <laughs> and nothing we can do about that. But anyway, yeah, the phone phone when it does video reverses everything. So it yes. looks like I am, but I'm not. Because I'm not stupid. <laughs> well, so, that's debatable, I suppose. But. So um, Dave is saying it was intentional, not accidental. Burn the place down and build it again without the damn spiders. <laughs> Gina says, yep, good thing I don't have a blowtorch. I would do the same thing. Right there with your bed. <laughs> and uh, David is asking, but did he kill the spider? You know what? That's a good question. <laughs> that would be my luck. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, the whole place is burned down. You're sitting outside going, oh, I'm safe now. And it comes crawling up on your leg. Like, <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I could totally see that happening. This I is like, a, it would be like arachnophobia. As soon as you think you're safe, um, that's it, you're 
did. Oh, <laughs> I just got cold chills. Stop it. <laughs> Thinking about that movie. And yes, I am very arachnophobic, and I did watch that because movie. Because of arachnophobia. <laughs> I mean, you were no. slightly scared, and you watched arachnophobia, and now you're terrified. No. No? No, I was oh. terrified before. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because then, then we would not be allowed to have sympathy for you, because you did it to yourself. <laughs> no, I was terrified before, and then I watched arachnophobia. Were you trying um, to confront your fears so they would go away? Pretty much. It didn't work, did it? <laughs> no, it <didn't. laughs> nope. nope. That's like watching Jaws to get over your fear of water. Shouldn't do it. It's not going to happen. It is not going to work, man. See, now, now, but watching that movie, I, I, at the time, I knew what my life goal was, or, or an adult goal, and it was to be like John Goodman. Okay. His character, I, I, I can his see that. exterminating character yeah. in that movie. <laughs> have you achieved said goal, Lois? No. <laughs> well, I guess we have some time. We'll have to watch the movie again. Oh, hey. Yeah. No, uh-uh. And then, you know, it is, nope. it is Halloween. I find whole bags of those little rubber spiders. And you, you, in the middle of the movie, they just start tossing them over where you don't see when they just land on you. Do you <laughs> enjoy breathing? Oh, <laughs> Everyone seen here first. My life has been threatened. <laughs> it's so mean. Oh, Diana, you're evil. <laughs> you see what a spider means? Yes. Nice. <laughs> but yes, I, I have I have threatened your life if you do that. <laughs> All right, so if, if I turn up missing... Oh, no, there would be no turn up missing. <laughs> you just wake up dead yeah, one day. Weekend at LPNM where you just have me propped up with sunglasses in the corner. Yep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, no, he's still there. Why is he so quiet today? <laughs> he took a sedative. No. <laughs> I don't do that, Lewis. I know, but. That's not my thing. <laughs> So you that guys will know my better. Response. You guys will know better. Was there something else in this article you wanted to cover other oh, than? No, that was it. <laughs> now let's see what else. Um, Dave says sorry. The video cut out. Didn't see anything threatening. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Man, it's a conspiracy. <laughs> it's a yeah, conspiracy. we are not watching that movie. Number one. <laughs> uh, no. Oh. No. I mean, I saw that movie when it came out. I saw it in the theater when it came out. Mm -hmm. And mm -mm, no, no, no. Even however many years later, I still can't. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, you know no, what? No, no. Speaking of scary movies, since we're on this topic, I want to cover something real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, so, you know, as, as you guys out there may or may not know, Lois has, has a sleeping disorder. <laughs> she goes to bed early. Oh, I'm like, what? what's sleeping? It's too like? early for me. Like, if I were to go to bed at that time, then I would be up at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning kind of early. Uh, so, that's because you're weird. I'm not weird. You're weird. You have a sleeping disorder. Uh, no. I, you know, I have to go to bed at a certain time, and if I go to bed earlier than that, well, my sleep kind of moves with it. It doesn't expand. It just, the, the time slot that I'm out goes backwards, <laughs> which I don't like. I don't like being awake at 3 o'clock in the morning. There's well, no that's useful because your body it. says, I only need X amount of hours of sleep, mm -hmm. period. Pretty much. <laughs> and then, wink, <laughs> come on. Which can be a good and bad thing. But anyway, so since she goes to bed early, there's a, you know, I have occasion to, uh, to watch uh, my own episodes of stuff on the Netflix. And um, recently, we're going on because, you know, the whole scary yeah, thing, uh -huh. it's Halloween and all that, the scary movies, arachnophobia. Mm -hmm. And so a while back, I came across. <laughs> Sorry, I just. A while back, I came across this article that was talking about the most scary thing, like ever. The most scariest show of all time. It was so scary, in fact, that a people, apparently people were getting like. They were getting PTSD. They were throwing up. I mean, it was like this huge thing. And I was like. I'd like to see that <laughs> because you know I, I don't I don't really scare that easily. I mean you know startled is not the same thing as scary. You know like oh, right. we're giving you jump you're like ah! you know kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the same thing as like. Ah! <laughs> and so I'm like, what is this show that you're, that you're speaking of? And so I you know I, I looked it up and it, and it's uh, the house uh, the, no the haunting of Hill House is the name of the show. It's ten episodes long on Netflix. 
I'm not really going to give anything away, but I want to talk about the fact that people nowadays are a bunch of bleepers. <laughs> bleepies. Yeah, I can't really... <laughs> bleepies. What is wrong? You getting PTSD and you're throwing up at this. I'm like five or six episodes in. It's an okay show. It's not bad. But it ain't scary, man. I mean, seriously. Like arachnophobia, Jaws, oh. that's, that's like, ugh. Or Aliens, or The Exorcist, that's some scary stuff. I mean, not really for me anymore, because I'm older now, and I'm just like, eh, that's pretty cool. Or, ooh. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. This one, so far, it's just like, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not a bad show. It has potential, and I, you know, and it very well could get scarier as time goes, because like I said, I'm only like five, six episodes in, so at some point, I suppose I could projectile vomit on the screen, but that's a different movie. So I don't know. I don't understand the the, the hubbub about it yet. You know, it's either a very, very, very slow building show that's going to end spectacularly, or people don't find the same stuff scary that I used to when I was younger. <laughs> and if they're throwing up over this stuff because they're so scared, I mean, it's not, there's no gore, not really. You know, I mean, it's, it's not like not like oh god, that's horrifying. Or it's like okay. it's more suspense, <laughs> a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's, a, it's a little suspensey, and and they're really good at the jumps. Oh, okay. You know, where something pops out and it's like, ooh, oh, oh, that's it. <laughs> like, yummy. Yeah, yeah. You know, but that's not what I consider scary. Scary stuff I consider like stuff that messes with your mind. You know? I got a movie for you that messes with your mind, and it's not even a horror film. Yeah, okay. But I mean, I'm just saying, it's not. I, I guess I, apparently my soul is gone because like, <laughs> things don't scare me really. It's like, you know, I, I mean, movies and stuff, it's like. <laughs> but sometimes things can be slightly disturbing, but that's more likely because, you know, I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. No, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. And then, like, oh, the hack no. and slash movies, you know, I, I never really got into the hack and slash movies. I think they're boring. They just, just like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, oh, look, there's some, there's some young girl that's running up the stairs instead of out of the freaking house, you know? Like, oh, yeah, you're but that's stupid. typical. <laughs> that that's like a horror film staple. Yeah, I know. And then they go, you know, <laughs> people with knives and stuff running around. I'm like, what are you doing? Bam! You're done. Have a nice day. See now, now you're you're talking about the the slasher movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, there's really only two that I like. Um, one is the Chainsaw Massacre, mm -hmm. and only because that one's based off of a true story. Right, but I'm just like, okay. you know. And then you've got the Halloween series. Yeah, and that one I like. <laughs> you no, gotta see the those... honest trailer for that. Uh, oh I'm just no! Saying. I saw that yesterday. The honest trailer. If you guys for don't the know, the new what... one. No, it was because the new one's coming out. Oh, okay. They did the original, <laughs> <laughs> and they man, they make so much fun of the other Halloween movies. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, if you guys no. don't know what honest <laughs> trailers are, you gotta check them out on YouTube. They take oh, it. They goodness. take all kinds of different movies and they make an honest trailer about it. You you, you just gotta check it out. It's honest hilarious. trailers are are really yeah, funny. They're funny. Um, and and they're even funnier if you've seen the movie. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so Gina says, "I hate spiders. I got bit four times one night. Ooh. One got infected. Ouch. Mm -hmm. No." Um, Renee says sissy lalas <laughs> instead of bleepies. Oh, yeah. Sissy right. lalas. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Renee says Stephen King, dream catcher. Great Seen movie. It. Eh, it's not bad. And uh, Trish is giving the thumbs up. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, no, I mean, I did, I did see dream catcher. <laughs> it was fairly decent. It wasn't bad. Um, I don't I mean, think I've seen that one. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, for me, I was like, <laughs> but yeah, you know, I do like the Saw series. But not I like for, it too. Not for what most people like it for. Most people are like, oh, it's scary. And I'm like, I don't like that. <laughs> no, I'm just oh, kidding. No. no, it's more of it's it's more actually the storyline behind the, the main character, which right. is which is, you know, obviously the guy that's doing all these horrible things and the inventive ways that they get done. That fascinates me. It's like, wow, that's a, it's like Rube Goldberg devices for <laughs> for killing people. It's like, wow, that's pretty inventive. <laughs> Oh, and then I started getting kind of out of hand with those, which didn't... I was like, okay, but this the storyline behind the main bad guy was still really... I, I enjoyed that. Okay. And I was willing to put up with all of the stuff to get to that, so... <laughs> I didn't really find it like, oh, there's a heart. It's just like, all right. <laughs> oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, no. What? 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 <laughs> 
All right. Oh, David. <laughs> David says. David. <laughs> David says, "Girls gone wild." That's scary. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> yeah, you know, you know why it's scary is because apparently that is now the new societal norm. But anyway. <laughs> and then Casey says, "I love the Star movies." Yes, I do. They're great, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I do. There's something about them that I just really like. It really. I don't want to say connects with me because you know, people are going to turn me in. Oh, I'm not a murderer. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. Uh, no, wait. No. <laughs> no, there is something that's catchy about it, though. Something that really is... It, I, I liked, it's engaging. I liked the Saw movies as well. <laughs> I was I was skeptical about them um, because I, I'm i not one for the slasher movies. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the typical... But it's not a slasher uh, movie at slasher all. Slasher movies. And, and the way that they presented... You know, the way that they were previewed and presented mm -hmm. um, was that they were. And, yeah, you you sat me down. Yeah, I was um, like, you got to watch this. And, yeah, and I, I really enjoyed them. Yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it turned out really good. It reminded me of, like, Seven. Seven was kind of yes. like that. Um, that's the one with, uh, what was it, I think Morgan Freeman, right? Yeah, and Brad Pitt. And Brad Pitt. And, you know, there's all kinds of creepy things that people find. Right. I'm not going to give anything away, but you should check that out, too. It, it was kind of like that. But on a more, you know, different level. <laughs> I liked it. It was good. <clears throat> on a more revenge level. Yeah. Um, well, he doesn't do see. it for revenge. That's not... Uh, I, no. I, you know what I meant, though. I mean, that's why it kind of started. Uh, yeah. Um, Dave says, the scariest movies are all the ones that could actually happen. No spence, suspension of disbelief. Yeah, I could see that. Um it, yeah, all right. You know, things that that, that kind of, you know, twist your head and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of the psychological thing. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could see the way um, that happened. Oh, what is the one? It's, um, oh, it was, uh, this is one that I cannot watch by myself, and there are very few really? um, that that are like that. Um, oh, and, and it, it stars uh, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that at all. <laughs> And it's the talented Mr. Ripley. Have I seen that? I've oh my! Seen that and that one is not a horror film. Mm -hmm. Nothing of that sort. I've heard of it. I think and I've seen it. And it is. It is so freaky because you just if you know how society works, mm -hmm. and you you actually use the brain in between your ears. Um, it's the twenty first century. No one does it. It'll freak you the <laughs> flip out because you realize how possible this is and i cannot watch it by myself i can't watch it at night i mean it just i'm kind of intrigued <laughs> now just saying. it freaks me the bleep out and and it is it, it's because it it you don't have to suspend your belief to watch it uh, right you okay. don't <laughs> um is that it, that's, that's kind of like the whole deliverance thing huh do you have to suspend your disbelief for that or your belief for that it, depending on how you view the world. Let's see. Uh, Dave says, love the Saw series. And yeah, had those, that's a pretty clever idea moments. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Renee says, Seven was a good movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, I, I don't know. I mean, there's all kinds of different categories. I, like I said, I don't really get, I mean, you, there is the jump thing, but, but that's mostly because, you know, it's 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 like a nervous, you know, central nervous system reaction. Yeah. Like, something happens and you're like, yeah. yeah. That's you know, the suspense. That. Yeah, but, and that's kind of fun. But, you know, it's stuff that I find deeply disturbing. Yeah. You know, like the apocalypse movies, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Like, this could totally happen. Please, let it happen. <laughs> and then it doesn't. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, You know, that's terrible. So, you know, I mean, those things definitely could happen, and then I'm excited about them. <laughs> <laughs> so you now have two new movies that you have to watch. Uh, the Talented Mr. Rivoli. Uh, yes. And... Uh, Rocky Horror. <laughs> huh? We still haven't got to it. No, no, nope, nope, we have not. <laughs> I gotta be in the right mood, man. I'm just saying. Oh, come on. You gotta be in the right mood. Come on. Uh, so you, you need to do Ripley, and then you need to do... The cheese with and the epicness of Rocky Horror. Okay, I don't think that that cheese should be that that particular term should be used with the trannies from the movie. That kind of freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I don't like how you put that together because it kind of makes me go. The eh. cheesiness, All right, man. I, I the give cheesiness. You, that. <laughs> you you like the the cheese levels on on movies? I, I do, I do. But and it has to be the right it, kind of cheese. It, it definitely is. 
And the songs are so catchy. No, no. <laughs> are you saying I'm going to come on the morning show and start singing and stuff? Pretty much. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can't even do that already. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so what else do you got for us, Lars? I guess I'll, I, I derailed your stuff. No, so. no. It's all good. It's all good. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> just... Come on, Lars. Just because... We're, we're, I don't even know how to segue into this. Um, it's next one up. Not, not the story itself. This okay. one here? Yes. All right, it, so just the is, headline. This is just the headline. Wait, what? I saw kind of part of the, no. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, what? Anna's saying hi. Jerome says, I agree that movie is creepy. Yes. <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to, to like, share, and comment. All right. <laughs> just the headline. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going with the headline because I'm sure it's one of those stories. It's like, ah, ha, ha, oh. It, yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. Man sues talk, uh, or, I'm sorry, man sues Tesco for race discrimination after colleague farted in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tesco's a major company um, on the other on the other. All right, because originally when I saw the headline, I figured this was gonna be like a Taco Bell thing. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> but like, dude, I had you should have known going in. <laughs> I I actually had to read it a couple of times because I I read it Taco <laughs> instead of Tesco. <laughs> Man sues Tesco for race discrimination after colleague farted in his face. You know, that's not race discrimination. That's just not nice. It's not nice. Don't fart in people's faces, man. It's not college. And depending on where you are in the world, that could be seen as um, um, assault. Assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> it would be in this house, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, I don't want to hear it. And man. the dogs. Oh, my. Did that tigger last night? Oh. I swear, that dog is dying from the inside. Something crawled in there and died. Because I'm just sitting there lying down. And all of a sudden, I was like, oh. Ah. Yeah, and you were laughing at me when she was I know. I was like, it's better you than me. The dog was over on her couch, and the dog goes, and she just got up. She's like, oh, oh, it burned. Yeah. So Gina says, really, Chris, get busy and watch the movies. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> Dave says, turn on the parental controls and don't let him know how the, uh, don't let him, let him know the code until he ro- watches Rocky Horror. Oh, that's evil, Yeah, man. the problem is I don't have the password to get into it. Um, I it's saved, man. <laughs> Anna's saying hi. Hi. And uh, Diana says, grocery from across the pond and they had fresh and easy out there. Tesco. Oh, okay. Or a like, grocery what? store. Oh, okay. All right. So apparently he sued Tesco for race discrimination after a colleague farted in his face. I, I don't know. Just, that's, that's pretty funny. Just be a nice human, man. Don't I mean, do that really... stuff. Yeah. That's it's just not good. Not nice. Mm-mm. And eventually that's... you do something like that and you'll get, you know, you'll get locked away at like Gitmo for, you know, using a terrorist kind of weapon for biological warfare. <laughs> you think it's funny, but it's going to happen. <laughs> You just wait. You know, Taco and, and, Bell's gonna have to go out of business. <laughs> <laughs> See, and and the thing is, is I you you mentioned you know you're not in college anymore, all of that fun stuff. I could actually see something like this being a hazing thing at the fraternities. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. No pun intended, or maybe pun intended. Yeah. Yeah, it reminds me <laughs> of that Shrek thing where you know you got donkey behind him. And he's like, ah, my <laughs> mouth was open. And he's like, ah. <laughs> It's like, no, don't do that. It's funny on TV. Don't do it to people. It's no, not nice. No, it's not nice at all. Just be nice, man. And Just then imagine, it. like, yeah, like what is it? Uh, down Periscope. You remember that? Or Up Periscope? Up Periscope. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's <too> down. <laughs> well, that was true. But anyway, in the middle of this, in, you know, they're in a submarine, you know, under the ocean trying to run silently, and then the one guy's... <laughs> just lets it rip. And everyone in there is like... Ah! <laughs> trying not to see or even that's die. That's even worse because you're in a tin can and can't open a door. But imagine if that was directly in your face. Man. Uh, no, man. Uh-uh. It, uh. uh-uh. No, no, Mm-mm. no, 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 no. 
Don't fart in people's faces. That is a public service announcement. <laughs> it's and not it's safe sad. for you, and it's not safe for the person you're doing it from, because they may sew your butt shut. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> for your what? own safety, be aware. Oh, no. <laughs> or there could be quirks involved. I don't oh. know. <laughs> That's just horrible. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh my goodness. So, um, <laughs> now, I don't know where you want to go with this. We have I no idea. We though. have a name? recall that's funny but horrifying. All right, let's do and that. And then we have um, some things that I've been experiencing and figured we'd. we'd um, uh -huh. I love you, Mom. Uh, <laughs> um, and figured we'd go on that tangent. So. I want to do the funny recall. You want to do the funny recall? All right. Which one so, is it? So, um, not a laughing matter. All right. Let's so, see yes, this is not a laughing matter, but it is. <laughs> Anything and can because... be funny if you put the right spin on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think people have actually heard about this um, because it has... Uh, uh, gained national attention. <laughs> this is hilarious. I don't know how you could not make this <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. So here's the headline for you. This is a recall. This flushing system for like, for like a toilet, this flushing system can make your toilet explode. So 1.4 million have been recalled. Wow! <laughs> You're going to blow up a toilet when you flush it? I mean, I've heard of blowing up a toilet, but it's usually figurative. <laughs> this one is literal. So it, it says it can make your toilet. How do they build that kind of pressure? It's a pressure assisted flushing system. What are they freaking <laughs> pressurizing that sucker with, man? Nitrogen? I mean, holy cow. Although I guess, I guess you know, if you could put like 80 to 100 PSI in a tank, if you got that kind of water pressure and their tank sucks, I could see that blowing the tank apart. That would be a bad day. Especially if you're sitting on the pot when it happens. <laughs> but what, the on the bonus side, oh, on the, <laughs> oh, no, no, because because this could have on the bonus side when it goes off. If you were stopped up, you will no longer be so. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming out at the same time. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so, so um, it, it it what ends up happening? It says the the system can burst at or near the vessel weld seam. Yep, so that's what it is. It's a it's an improperly built pressure tank. <laughs> and and um it ends up turning into a low level explosive <laughs> and it blows the tank. It's not a low level explosive. It, it's just a pressure it, vessel that's rupturing, man. It's just an explosive with debris. <laughs> <laughs> Porcelain debris, man. Yeah. Where you imagine just... parts of the toilet stuck in you. Imagine trying to explain that at the hospital. My toilet exploded. Like, man, stop it with the Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm just saying, that gordita was not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're, they're also saying um, the pressure can actually lift the tank lid and yeah, shatter can... the tank. Yeah, I can see that where it go up and like, bam, up on the ceiling, and then bam, on your head. You're like, ah. <laughs> That's a bad day all around. That is. Especially that if it's is. like the early morning after coffee constitutions, if you know what I mean. Right, right. right. <laughs> you're not even awake, and then this just all happens, and then boom! You're like, oh, I'm awake! <laughs> no, I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, That's a bad so, day. So tanks have actually exploded. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> that is impressive. Oh, Renee says pressurized by methane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Is it Taco Bell, man? Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next. We got time for a couple more. Uh, okay, though. okay. Now I know I sent you a couple of pictures. Oh, do you want to go on to that? Uh, yeah. I suppose we could attempt to do something along those. Now, I, I, we've talked about you know my mom and and tech and and all of that and. Technology. Her, her mother is, is uh, technologically challenged, so yes. I love you, Mama Lois, but <laughs> it is very difficult to do tech support over the phone. <laughs> no, Long no. distance. You, no, no, it's not. <laughs> it's difficult because your, your mother doesn't listen. <laughs> That's why it's difficult. Because I have actually, I walked somebody through how to do something last night on the phone, and she's way older than your mom. I, I realize. But she listened, and everything went relatively smooth. No, I, I, I understand that. But your mom, is she gets very, very angry 
at what's going on and the device itself, and it, it, just, it just does not bode well, and things well, go badly. I, I came across this, <laughs> and I just had to stick this topic into um, into the morning show, right. because this is something my mom, and apparently this person's mom, um, would do or have done. Okay, um, all right, all right. <laughs> Hold it while you're talking. I'm trying to pull it up so we actually okay. have it online. And, and here. this is a screenshot of a text conversation between a person and their mom. Yes. Um, being the family tech person, <laughs> which you know, for the most part, that is what I am for for uh, Mama Lois. Yes. And uh, yeah, mom had an issue, mm-hmm. so you start at the basics. <laughs> Yeah, and this is something your mother would definitely do. Yes, yes. And like I said, I love you, Mom. (laughs) Now, if you can't read it, it says, Me, give me the model of Toshiba you have. Mom's response, laptop. (laughs) Not helpful. Yeah, that is not going to solve the problem. No. We're going to need to get a little more specific. (laughs) Just saying. And, and, you know, I I have had IT friends, oh my, since pretty much I started working. And and they they will tell me horror stories. You even, yeah, you've even experienced it. Well, I and, used to own and, a computer store. For, for like seven years, I owned a computer store. And I'll tell you what, man, there's some weird stuff that can happen out there. And it's like... Now, one of the things, and and I sent you this as well. Um, if you want to pull up, waggling your finger there, uh, if pull up the word doc. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one of the things that went around for years. Now I have um, to pull this up again. Yes, you do. <sighs> Just making it difficult, though. <laughs> this is what happens when you have pictures. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that went around for years was the whole your CD tray in in your um, tower yes. was a cup holder. Oh, yeah. Well, you just kind of took all the fun out of that one, didn't you? Uh, why? Well, because you already said it. What? There we go. No. There you go. All right. There you go. For the most part, people actually believe it's a myth. But there are certain people that do not. You know, yes. you know what? I can understand why they don't think it's a myth, because we do call CDs and DVDs coasters. <laughs> really? I, I I didn't know that. Especially <laughs> CDs, CDs that come with uh, with with drivers and with software, we call those coasters because they're worthless. Because they ship it with the hardware, and you want to get the most updated driver, so you usually go online to the company's website, okay. download said driver, and use that one, not the one that shipped with it. Because usually the one that shipped with it is like you know version one, and it's usually a beta or it doesn't work. Or blah blah blah, fill in the blank. It's usually best to get the most current one. That makes sense. So you know, you get the you get the CD, and you just you know, you just throw it somewhere and use it as a coaster. That works. I could totally see somebody you know. Well, thinking the thing that is, that is, is most Don't. people <laughs> most Don't. people think it's a myth. And I actually was able to come across a physical picture, not one that's a meme, not one that's computer generated. Uh uh-uh. uh This was taken by an IT person. <laughs> It was pretty much. <laughs> Don't it, it, do it, man. It's not a, a, a cup holder. <laughs> it's not a cup holder. Definitely oh. not. What, what, um, Dave says, wait, that's like all my users at work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel your pain, Dave. And Dave says, I've had those calls. One from a CEO in Dallas. <laughs> Oh no! So so I got on this this tangent, yes, or or went down this rabbit hole, mm-hmm. and I actually found some um, IT threads. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny because I, you know, like I said, having owned a computer store, I have seen some weirdness in my yeah, days. I bet you have. <laughs> I have seen some strange things. See, and and the thing is, is IT doesn't, in general, IT doesn't help itself by being the tricksters. For their users. <laughs> I never did anything like that. I used to work with an IT guy. But that's guy. why we're tricksters, is because we have to put up with stuff like that. <laughs> I I used to work with an IT guy who actually um uh, would would um, do little little things 
um, to the computers that that uh, people were working on, and the, and he was trying to fix. Like uh, at one point, he flipped not the monitor but the uh, background. Yeah, the upside background down. Upside down. Yeah, that's uh-huh. always, that, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, but you see, with you know being <coughs> in IT, it is you have to find a way to you know, vent your rage, your anger, and your frustration. And so that's where these little pranks come from. <laughs> I'm just See, saying. now the funny thing is, is is he tried it on me when I first started. Yes. And and I, I'm i not as tech savvy, but I am tech savvy. Sure. And uh, I <laughs> I don't remember exactly what it was he did, but I went, ding, 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 and I fixed it. And, you know, that was the last time it happened. <laughs> <laughs> You know, for quite some time, I when I was, uh, you know, when I was, oh, Dave says, "Come fix my cup holder, bro," <laughs> and then he says, "We do it as revenge." <laughs> yeah, it's got to be able to vent it, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> One of the things that that I used to have, uh, you know, owning a computer store, I had something for sale. I only sold a few of them, and those ones were to slightly tech savvy people that thought they knew more than they did. But when they found out they were in over their head, they bring it in, and I would help them fix it. One of the things that I sold was what was called a stealth keyboard. And it was a jet black keyboard with no labels or anything anywhere on it. And that's like one of the funniest things ever because if you're a, te- you know, if you're like one of those, you know, point hunt, and peck. Hunt, yeah. Hunt and peck <laughs> tigers, you're done. <laughs> yep. And I actually <laughs> used one of those as my main keyboard up front at the, you know, so. <laughs> and it's funny watching people look at it and they're like, <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, your keyboard's broken. I'm like, no, it's made that way on purpose. <laughs> See, now, now, when it comes to keyboards like that, it makes me happy that, um, because, you know, over time, with most keyboards, not the one you got me for my birthday, but with most keyboards, if you use them a lot, mm-hmm. you end up rubbing rubbing the, the numbers and oh, the yeah, letters, yeah. uh, you know, off of the keyboard. And, and, um, and so I, I actually uh, was able to take a typing class mm-hmm. in, in high school, and I learned how to yeah. touch type yeah. rather than, you know. Yeah, we didn't. They, they had a little cardboard <laughs> thing they put over your hands, and you had to learn how to type. No, we didn't. We oh. had to always be like this. <laughs> yeah, they, they actually had a cardboard shield that would go over the keyboards in your hands, and you'd have to type. Mm. So, yeah, that's, that how we, that's how we learned how to do it. It worked pretty good. <clears throat> So I did, I, I found some um, tech support threads uh, where just some of the stories are hilarious. All right, well, uh, what you got, Lois? If you, you want, you can do e- either funny tech support or there was one below it. Well, we'll go ahead and go with that one. How okay. That? All right, we got, yeah, we got time for like, this is it right here. All right, what you got? What you got? Well, um, oh, so just one a of them, yeah, it's just a collection of them. All right, so, so I'll, I'll just read. Oh, I'll go ahead and read. I got, I got. All right. All right. Let's see. I had a user come up to me and ask why their computer would not turn on. I go over to the desk and noticed a pool of water, so I immediately unplugged the computer and left it up. Water came pouring out of the side vents, so the user says, "Oh yeah, I spilled water on my desk. Could that be the problem?" <laughs> 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 I mean, so wow, that's not like a little bit of water. That's a lot. I mean, if it's pouring out of the side vents of your computer, yeah, it's done, dude. It is done. What those? So David says, is there something to look out for when everyone eats their Dorito Taco Loco uh, next Tuesday at Taco Bell? Huh? I, I'm I, confused. I, 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 don't I don't know. know. Um, Gina says, took some typing classes as well. Smile. Nice. Oh, it there didn't go. work. <laughs> so she put in the smiley face. Um, and Dave says, I could give you hours of the story. <laughs> well, know, the second and third you have to do before we sign off. All right, all right. So here's the next one. Person entering data on a floppy disk was told that she had to make a copy at the end of every day to provide a backup. And for those of you that don't know what a floppy is, it's an old style of yeah, data yes. storage. I have stories about those. We won't get into them right now. <laughs> All right, so she was pro- uh, told to provide a backup. About six months later, the disk became corrupt. So the technician asked if she had the copies. She opened a filing cabinet drawer and pulled out a stack of paper. On every sheet was a photocopy of the disk. 
<laughs> That's amazing. That's a good one. I like that. that <laughs> wow. I could see the same thing with like a CD or something. Uh, like, yeah, there you are. Or a flash drive. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> All right, and then the last one for today. I was walking through an office one day and a user said to me, at last, it's taken you long enough. I pressed F1, the help button, over two hours ago. <laughs> that is not how that works. <laughs> It's not like, you know, it's like those, this, like back in the day, you know, you get the sick people and they'd have the bell to have the maid come out. No. That's not what that button's for. It's not how it works. <laughs> you gotta pick up the phone oh. and call. So, you know what? I can see that, that there's so many people that are angry. Like, I pushed this button and the guy didn't show up like a genie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anne says, rule of thumb, you have to be 2% smarter than the equipment you operate. Well, since it doesn't have innate uh, intelligence yet, I think you will. Yeah. Um, Gina says, I sold Verizon for years and have had lots of fun experiences oh, with I people. Bet. Holy and cow. Uh, Dave. Dave says, uh... <laughs> yes, uh, we were actually going to talk about that today. I didn't have time to bring it up because uh, I forgot to pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, but we're out and, of time. Um, there was actually, well, we could continue this tomorrow. Cause, yeah, we, we'll go but, into yeah. more IT because IT stuff can be hilarious. <laughs> oh, there there are some that I came across. Oh, and just as an FYI for, for tomorrow, just don't use magnets. <laughs> actually, nowadays it doesn't matter, but back in the day it didn't. <laughs> All right, guys, now we are over time. Yes. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting on all of these posts. We really do appreciate it. It really does help out. Don't forget, we're also on the Next Door app now as well. Uh, me personally and LPNN. Make sure you give it a recommendation if you pop on over there. You guys have an amazing day, and we'll catch you on the next one. Sounds good. Thank you for being a part of the network. Uh, uh, yes. Who's ready for some Rupert? I am. i got to find the Rupert. It's right Rupert. there. I'm gonna, <laughs> bye, bye, guys. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.